are you all? I hope you had beautiful Christmas with your family and friends and I hope you had a beautiful New Year as well. I wanted actually to record this video before the New Year started but I was so busy like I had my shifts going on and then I've got uh, a chance to meet with one of my friends who came from Sydney here to Brisbane and yeah so I'm a bit late but um, this video is going to be about my goals and my plans basically for 2020. I even have them written here in my notebook. It's not like I didn't plan it, I did already plan everything for myself for the next year and with the will of God I hope I will have all of them coming true and I will have enough of opportunities and strength to actually um, make them happen. So yeah, so I thought I will share with you some of my goals for this year and maybe it will be inspirational for you as well, you know, as it is for me and also it will be nice to see in the end of this year if I actually achieve those goals or not. So hopefully maybe half of them, if not all, will be achieved. So my first goal that I want to achieve and this would be the first goal in terms of scheduled dates and times for it is going to be my English test. As many of you know I just finished my diploma of enrolled nursing which took me 18 months of full-time study in college which is TAIF and because I wasn't born in English speaking country and my language first language is not English obviously you can hear it from my accent and from the mistakes that I do when I talk I need to do my English test in order to get my registration to be working as qualified EN. So um, I plan to do this either in the middle or the end of January. Um, the latest would be beginning of February just before my uni starts because I just want to put it out of my way before I go back again to classes because I will be studying full-time again in uni the same as I was back in TAIF so and I will be continuing working as well so it's really important for me to finish this test as soon as I can so that I would be just busy with my studies and with work. I don't want to be dealing with the um, test as well. This test is really really hard. I need to do academic IELTS or academic uh, PTE test. They will give you a few more other tests as well to choose from um, but yeah it's really really hard and now I think from last year they actually raised a little bit the score. Now you need to get seven band, band seven in each of the categories plus seven overall when before it was 6.5 in each of the parts and then seven overall so they made it a little bit harder it's more like a doctor's as well now so yeah now at the moment i'm preparing myself and refreshing my mind um, with ielts because i've done it before and i'm looking slightly at pte as well so um i didn't choose which one i'm going to go with but yeah like I need to do one definitely. So after that I will get my registration and I will be able to work as fully qualified EN and I'm really really excited about it. So yeah, so this is one of my first goals. Second goal of course is start my uni. So my uni will be starting somewhere in the middle of the end of February um, and I will be continuing my Bachelor of Nursing uh, in Science which is going to be my RN. Uh, so that means that by the time I finish my uni, my Bachelor, I will become RN and I will be working as RN after I finish my uni. So this is like in simple words. So it's going to be full-time study and I have chosen uh, one of the unis in my area and I'm not gonna go in details now about that because I want to do a separate video of um, about how I was choosing unis when I was applying uh, through QTAG here in Brisbane and why exactly why why I have chosen this particular uni that I'm going to go with so yeah so my first my second goal is going to be going to uni finally starting it and I will be jumping into second year so I will have two more years to go of full-time studies so I'm nervous in, and at the same time I'm excited because I want to study more I want to study nursing more in details you know and uh, who knows where I will go after that who knows yeah <laughs> we'll see okay uh, my next goal is to actually, after getting registration, I want to be practicing as EN, which means I want to talk to uh, management at my work if they can employ me as EN nurse. And um, 
I'm really excited about that as well because I already know all our patients. I know the policies and procedures of the place where I'm working. I know my colleagues, you know, so that would be an easy transition, you know, and I can't wait to actually practice uh, medicine administration because we had only, well, one full placement to practice our medicine. And then we had in stage three uh, placement again, which we were practicing medicine, but because we had such an intense um, cause, you know, for enrolled nursing, we were studying so many different things that many of us actually forgotten so many different medicine, you know, what they are for, what the side effects are and stuff like that. So I feel like I didn't have enough of practice. So this is why I'm really excited to actually practice more when I will be already working as EM. So that would be my next step after I will receive my registration and go into uni. Because also I want to go to the uni first before I go to my before I speak to my management. I want to see how many days per week I will be busy and what will be the hours as well. Because I want to see how many days will be left for my work in case if they want to put me as permanent worker. So yeah, this is really important. Um, next goal is to eat healthier and that involves as well cooking more and just spending a little bit more time researching different type of meals that would have more nutrients and more vitamins for myself because I feel I found that for the past 18 months since I started to study I started to eat like really easy meals um, that I would cook like in 20 or 15 minutes and some of it would be junk food as well like you know um, Sometimes I come so tired, like if I have in the morning, I have classes, then I would go to my work to do a PM shift. I literally will eat like noodles, you know, because I was so tired to actually cook a meal that I would do something that would take me literally like five or 10 minutes. So I want to this year somehow find the time to actually cook more meals. And I was looking for different YouTubers who actually explain and show you different ways of cooking, which involve basically like steaming vegetables even and steaming a piece of chicken breast, you know, or boiling chicken breast or just putting it in the oven and just roasting it. All what you need to do is just, you know, like put the vegetables in a plate, cut the chicken breast once it's roasted or air fried and that's it, your meal is ready. So it's it's all taking actually like 15 minutes, you know, and it's really easy. And you can do preparations like this, which you can store in the fridge for up to three days and then just cut it in small pieces and put it in your, um, in your plate. Or what you need to add if you want to some soy and some fresh salad. So I've been looking for something like that as well that would have still vitamins and nutrients for my body, but yet it will be so time convenient for me to cook and also will be tasty and enjoyable. So yeah, so this is my next goal. I really, really want to be healthy and you know that health comes from what you eat as well. So this is really important for me this year. Next one is I want to go through my wardrobe and just go through all my clothes and just sew them out, pick the things that I don't wear, you know, because I have like some clothes that's been since I've been living in my country, like I literally have few pieces and I'm holding on to it because of the memories, they're really old now and you know, like, you know, girls, <laughs> we all have that part of the wardrobe where we have jeans or tops that no longer fit us but we have that holy hope in our hearts that one day we will lose weight and we will actually be able to wear it well i have those pieces as well and i think it's time to say goodbye to you because i don't think that i will shrink again to size six as i used to be before before giving birth to my kids no that's not gonna happen my even bones my hips they're not gonna go to size six okay i'm size 10 now like to the bottom and size uh, 8 to 10 at the top and yeah I don't think I will go less than that so other thing is I want to like switch to more natural fabrics um, gladly now in Australia or oh, budget shops like Target and Kmart and Best and Less and I mentioned this shop so often my in my videos because they're truly budget shops for clothes um, they started to bring actually a lot of cotton and they call it organic cotton which means it's uh, pure cotton and mostly it's made in Bangladesh or in India and even in China actually as well and um, 
you will find this fabric now everywhere so it seems like a lot of shops actually now um switching to this type of fabrics and they want people to actually step away from synthetics especially polyester which is i think it's a good idea so you can find them in all of the shops and now also the second fabric is really really popular which is linen a lot of shops now have linen and you know what it's really affordable well depends of where you buy i guess if you go like to really really expensive brand um it will have linen like for 100 bucks and the same linen would cost halfway down in target just because target is not famous um as the other brand you know but it's still the same linen seriously so you can find it in really affordable prices so the second thing for me with the clothes and my wardrobe i want to switch to more natural fabrics you know and step away i still have some pieces even at home that made from polyester because i either like the prints you know or it was I don't know the style that I liked so I want to go through that one and just throw them away or give them to charity you know things like that so yeah I want to wear more natural fabrics this time you know and something that I will be happy with I don't want to be wearing something you know or look at even at it if it stays in my cabin more than a few months and I know I'm not wearing that clothes I'm going to just put it aside and get rid of it because I know if it's been that long in the cupboard there is no way I will wear it that's that's the truth <laughs> so yeah the second one is I want to dedicate more time to actually read my medical books okay I have a lot of beautiful medical books that I bought from thrift shops and that I bought from Facebook market as well and they are anatomic books, uh, pathophysiology, physiology, I have disease, uh, I have actually two books about different type of disease and its prevention and stuff like that. I think they're really, really informative when you do your nursing studies because you need to be able to see uh, when your patient is declining. You don't have to be a doctor for that, but you have to be able to see and know the signs when your patient is actually declining so that you can take a fast action, you can report it to a doctor or if you are an EN, report it to RN, you know, and take a quick action before it goes too late because sometimes some signs of decline can be so rapid that basically the person might pass away depending on a condition. And also I just want to know how the body works um, when it comes to certain disease you know to certain conditions i want to know what's happening in the body from the anatomical and physiology point of view because it's really important again to us we need to know the chain of reactions i remember when we just started doing our diploma of nursing our teachers were trying to explain to us and also teach us how can we link things together when the person for example has a high temperature when he becomes febrile you know what can cause what other things can be caused by that you know or when the person has a high temperature and high blood pressure and then he has a certain condition how can we lean all of that link all of that together to have a picture like a full picture you know what i mean and then what type of medication the person takes you know again and to know what side effects can be uh caused by those um medication and again so we could um see those side see those side effects in time and just prevent it or either stop it when it's still in a beginning in a beginning stage basically so i hope i explained that um easily you know um but yeah so i want to actually to read more i want to spend maybe every day if i can or a day after day at least one to two hours reading a book and also I want to watch some videos as well so I either will make my plan like one day I will read a book then the next day I will have a video from YouTube you know and vice versa so on YouTube I have really beautiful YouTubers who are really smart and really educated in certain topics and if you want I can dedicate a separate video sharing with you who I watch on YouTube in terms of medical knowledge for myself and um, there are different channels talking about different things you know and I watch some doctors as well um, even though I'm studying nursing but um, I really like medicine in general so I do watch a lot of doctors as well and those people actually share information in a really really simple way anybody can understand it it's really easy and then I do some notes and I also do my own research through Google as well in more details again if it's a certain and, I don't know like a health condition and stuff like that so yeah so I want to be more knowledgeable in what I study because 
I want to know what's happening to my patients, you know, and this is something that actually generally interests me. So if I can now while I'm young, why not to do it, you know, because when we get older, you know, our health condition changes, you know, our life changes. So opportunities that we have now might not happen, you know, in the next few few years. So, yeah. Anyways, enough of talking. So that was my other goal. The next goal would be I want to do more skin routines. So uh, I'll try to keep it simple and short because if I start to talk, I talk too much. And this is one of the minuses, I would say, about myself because I I do talk a lot. <laughs> so I about the skin routine. Um, I've purchased some really, really good items from Tiki Marks, and you already probably noticed from my previous videos that Tiki Marks is one of my favorite all-time shops. And uh, just before Christmas, on 24th of December, I went there to just check the sale and, you know, discounts and stuff that they occasionally have. And they had two big, big shelves full of discount prices for skincare. So I bought a lot of uh, ton toners, I bought serums, I bought creams, I bought scrubs and stuff like that. So I've got like the whole package and a lot of masks. And those were really, really in a good price. And I still have them not opened. I want to do a separate video showing you what I bought. And also um, then I will try one by one or maybe two by two, depending on what type of care I will choose for myself and record videos like that. But generally this year, I just want to look after my skin more, you know, especially after my face, because uh, with age, our skin produces less collagen, you know, it becomes less elastic, you know, and we have, we started to have wrinkles, you know, plus pollution, plus sun. We live in Australia, we have so much of sun here, the sky is so down, you know, and, um, I feel like all of that affects our skin as well. So this is why I want to look after my skin more than I used to do it before. And I want to try new products as well. Look, I'm not the pro. Like, seriously, I don't know all those tricks and tips and all of these things, you know, how to look after the skin and stuff like that. I just watch YouTube. I watch other people's routine, you know, and just see what goes after what, you know, what products to use and stuff like that. And then I go and I try to buy something either similar or I try to buy something different, you know, and just try it on myself. So, yeah, it's going to be a year of exploring and new ways of looking after my skin, I guess, will be ways of exploring new products that I've never tried before, you know, new companies as well. So I'm sort of like I'm excited and at the same time, I hope I won't have any rushes and uh, allergies to any of the products that I bought. Because my skin, like, I don't have any complaints about my skin. I don't have any pimples. I don't have any acne or anything like this. Thanks God. Like, I have a good, really good skin. But I want to just keep it clean and nice and less wrinkly. You know, just prevent all of that. Okay. So, my next goal is I want to finish organizing my house. As many of you know from watching my previous videos, I moved five months ago to a new property. This is my property now. Like, I don't own it. I rent it. Um, but I live here alone, my kids stay with me occasionally, and um, uh, I started to buy things from scratch in this property. I didn't have any furniture when I moved, so it took me literally up until now, which is five months now, to be organizing it all. So at the moment, I have few bits and pieces left, including my um, out in a backyard space where the pacola is, or you know, or a patio area. So I just need to organize that. So I have few pieces already unpacked that I bought for it, and I have to buy like chairs and table and stuff. And that would be it. So I hopefully I will finish during this January because I really, really don't want to deal with it when I start my study again and my work go along with it because I've been through this in the past five months. And trust me, it's really hard because literally every time I had the time off, I needed to go and look for things and I had a specific list what I needed to buy for this property. And every time I have a day off, I needed to go and buy it. And I was so annoyed. It's supposed to be like an enjoyment time when you're buying things for your home, you know, like you should do it with happiness. But I just wanted to finish. I just wanted to finish it all and just get done, get over it, you know. So it was times when I was enjoying it and it was times when I literally needed to go. So hopefully that would be finished during this 
months and then I will have I will make a home tour showing you my plies you know um at the moment I'm actually proud of myself really like I'm not a professional designer home de home decor designer whatever you call those people but I do proud of myself that I could put things together you know find inspiration you know buy something that makes me happy like my own stuff that makes me happy you know what I mean so yeah like I feel good about it <laughs> okay my next goal is I want to continue with my YouTube channel I don't know how I'm going to be finding time for it but I find it's fun to film videos and share with you things you know and I feel fun like even just I don't know making new um, topics for the videos you know and just um, yeah and just being there you know and I like communicating with people through the comments you know and stuff like that I know my YouTube is not growing yet you know it's really young channel even though I created like a year ago and my first intention was to dedicate it only to photography but then I found once I started my um, diploma of enrolled nursing studying I found that I didn't have time enough of time to actually be able to do YouTube and then do my photography and then work at the same time and study so I give up partly on my photography and I fully give up on my YouTube channel I could no longer just pull it and I left only my life studies and work just to finish my studies first and also work at the same time to get some money to get some experience while I'm working while I'm studying and stuff like that so this year I will try to upload at least one video per week and at the moment I've been filming a lot of videos on my phone for the previous few months and I was just keeping it on my computer and this is why you will see some of my videos now sort of like a back throw to the before time when I filmed it earlier and only now I actually had time to edit it and now I have my January transitional months before my uni starts so I only at the moment have my work this is why I have some time to actually finish editing those videos that I filmed previously and then once it's done Done during this month hopefully from from then on I will be able to actually edit and film videos already currently so whatever will be happening whatever will be happening in my life I will be able to film it edit and post it at the same time maybe plus or minus day you know day before or day after but it's not gonna be laying like for too long on my um, computer Second thing, second goal that I have in my list is I want to still continue doing photography as well because I don't want to lose my uh, skills that I've gained through many years of doing photography in my life. And, you know, we all know when we don't practice something, we'll lose it. We really lose it, you know, so I want to continue doing it. And also I had so many people requesting me to record educational tutorials uh, for sale for my pantry type of fine art edit and a lot of people liked it and I had so so many requests PMing me to my Facebook Messenger and my Instagram guys I, I really it was in the middle of my studies you know I really really will sit down and I promise you I will do it I have already um, some videos that I've recorded when I was editing my previous photo shoot with uh, using my backdrop I just need to edit it and put the voice behind it so I could explain to you in details each of my steps but I have that ready I have it already recorded I just need to edit it so hopefully I'll find the time during this month as well and I will do at least maybe three videos and I will put it up online okay so that was it um, my second goal is I just want to become more happier I had a really difficult year this this year um, it was partly hard because I was studying a lot and I was working a lot and also my relationship was a bit hard part of my life which I'm not gonna be sharing in details because I want to keep it private um, but yeah this year I just want to be more happier person I want to do things that make me happy you know I want to do something that yeah I feel good about it my camera just stopped recording um, so yeah so I just want to make something that makes me happy and that involves as well my next goal which is I want to get closer to God as well um, in terms of religion I want to just read more um, scriptures that in includes Quran and Bible as well I just want to um, look at other religions you know and just get information from everywhere you know I want to learn about God itself I want to learn about 
what we should do, you know, in terms of our actions and how we approach other people. I just want to be more kind person, you know, more sincere person. And to be honest, I'm really happy that I'm working in the nursing field because we look after patients when they're in a vulnerable state and we're there to help them. And I believe that for every help that I give to people when I look after them, God will reward me back because I do this not for the sake of experience and money, but yes, of course I do money for li I do need money for living, but I do this for my own heart as well. You know, like I try to do my best when I look after people, not just anyhow, you know, because I've seen different people how they sometimes do things when they work as nurses. Like sometimes I question myself why they do even choose this field to work in because you have to be kind you have to do things from your heart because those people are in a condition when they're the most sensitive the most vulnerable you know and if you do your things from your heart when you help them they can feel it they can see it you know what i mean because one day you might be in their place god knows what can happen to you and then you will have someone coming and looking after you and can you imagine if that person is just doing things anyhow you know and rude to you or unpleasant and stuff like that how would you, how would it make you feel you will feel really really bad so this is why i always try to be like the best person i can when i do my cares with my patients and stuff like that so yeah so that would be my goal regarding getting closer to God and just making myself happier in general in this life and stuff like that. Um, my next goal is going to be, I want to organize my time in that way that I would have more time to spend with my family, you know, with my kids and stuff. So um, this is one of my priority goals because I do want to spend more time with my kids. You know, I want to do something more with them and they are growing now. I have two boys, they are growing, you know, and Sometimes I feel like they're more closer to the father, you know, they have more common language, you know, in doing things, you know, they're more like interested in boys things, you know, when, whereas when they were younger, they were more closer to me, you know, we could read books, we could do things together. Now then like my younger one, he's still into books, my older one, he is not into books at all, he's more into sport, you know, so my partner, he actually um, spends a lot of time um, taking them to sports activities, you know, like they love soccer, they love kung fu, and they're really, really good at it. So yeah, so I want to spend more time with them, see what we can do together, maybe visit places and stuff like that, you know, it's just, if it wouldn't be that hot as well outside, I will show you like, even when we go to places, and I could film it as well for you, because we have so many beautiful places in Australia. It's just a problem now that summers in, Australia's are, in Australia are so hot, that you can't actually go into many places during the daytime and then even if you have such a short time you know when the temperature becomes nice so it's basically like maybe up to five to seven so yeah it's not much really but anyways we'll see what we can do about that um next is one of my probably would be last or the one before last goal is i want to try to travel at least to one country per year okay to start with and i want to try to do it myself i have traveled in my life myself which was three times in my life i went to egypt then i went then i came here to australia and from australia to ukraine <laughs> yeah so and i've been in poland so that's it like other countries i went with my partner so i didn't actually go anywhere myself like alone so i want to try to travel somewhere alone i want to learn um a positive experience i want to learn how to deal uh in different situations you know i want to be safe i want to learn how to be safe how to manage my finance finances how to find bookings you know for accommodate for accommodation how to find a cheaper flight you know and stuff like this where to go look for all those reviews and stuff like that so it's a completely new experience because mostly before my my partner was the one who was doing all of that you know and he was literally like i was only choosing which country to go to to, to go to and we were discussing it whether we should go there or there but he was doing all the preparation basically the financial part of it and the booking for accommodation and stuff like that i could have helped him as well like maybe to choose the places that we would visit and stuff like that in that particular country so yeah i want to try to travel myself and i want to just teach myself how to do it and everything comes of course with the experience theory is one part but then when you actually 
start doing it you will learn on your mistakes and hopefully i won't be doing it that many because i want to stay safe okay so that would be it so hopefully i will travel somewhere this year and hopefully i will book something in advance because i want to save money on tickets and you know that one of the way of saving money on tickets is to book actually your trip even half year in advance so yeah and my last goal okay uh would be i want to wake up every day at five o'clock or five thirty why i'll tell you because i want to start doing some sports i want to start at least by walking okay i'm not going to put myself in a gym and buy a membership and stuff like that but i want to at least start walking okay so the perfect time to do it is in the morning when your body is fresh okay and it will give you energy actually throughout the day and also the weather is perfect whether you're in summer season you know or in winter well in winter it's always cold really like in the middle of the day it gets uh, warmer but then it's too sunny and you will be either at studies or at work most of people are doing something in the middle of the day so the perfect times is either in the morning early morning before you start your day you know or at night so for me i work pm shifts you know most of the time so for me ideally it would be morning and also i like waking up early like today i woke up at 4 30 like don't ask me why i woke up at 4 30 <laughs> uh, but i went to the toilet and i couldn't sleep after that that's it like so i i've done i've edited two videos on my computer and then i've cleaned my house and i'm really really happy that i've cleaned my house actually now my house is clean and nice and i was fresh to do it so yeah so i want to start actually doing a little bit of sport just by walking in the mornings you know getting some fresh air and stuff like that and be proactive during my day and waking up early can actually make me to sleep early because you, we all know that before 11 o'clock you know you have the melanin melatonin producing in your um body to actually make you sleep and have that productive good sleep through the night so if you sleep later than that your sleep is not going to be as good as it would be before 11 o'clock and i'm the person who sometimes stays until 12 o'clock and sometimes if i go to work a pm shift i might come you know 10 30 or 11 o'clock at night at home as well so yeah so i will see like those days when i'm not doing pm shift i can wake up in the morning you know early morning and have a productive day it doesn't have to be every day because when you put the goal don't try to make it like all seven days a week try it bit by bit you know step by step because it will exhaust you it will make you tired it's the same like going to the gym you know if you make like if you make it hard for yourself you will be in really really big pain so just start gradually and then you will be like more successful so yeah so that those ones were my goals for this year i might be adding a few more goals along the way see what life brings me basically and adding those as well but at the moment you know these are the plans for this year and hopefully with the will of god i will actually and with the help of god i will actually be able to do it you know and i hope this year is going to be really productive for me and i will learn a lot again you know i love learning <laughs> like I, I i really like studying i really like studying this is the truth about me i love reading i love studying i love watching educational movies you know so hopefully i will learn a lot more the she in the university and i will be filming more videos about it and now we'll be actually able to compare my studies from college to university and share that information with you as well because i haven't been doing university in australia i only done type before and this time diploma is my first sort of like a higher degree you know and now i'm going to bachelor but i do have my bachelor degree from my country which is in economics it's a completely different field and i've been working in an office for quite a long time before i actually moved abroad so yeah so it's going to be a new experience for me here in australia and i'm happy to share it with you and also i will try to record more nursing videos again about my experience of my diploma of enroll enrolled nursing and i will start doing it from this week and i will put it in a separate playlist as i promised before anyways i'll be finishing this video now i've talked too much too much i want to, every time like i'm doing a talking video i promise myself it's going to be short like yana stay focused keep it to the point you know <laughs> don't talk too much and then in the end like maybe because i'm nervous maybe because i'm nervous i talk too much yeah 
Many people have it. Maybe I'm one of those people as well. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy this video. If you do, please like it and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like it. For now, I'll see you in my next videos. Bye!